Meanwhile, the Indonesian House's Commission 3 will form a special committee to investigate the 349 trillion rupiah of suspicious transactions involving tasks and functions related to the Ministry of Finance. In recent weeks, conflicting statements and claims over the 349 trillion rupiah suspicious transactions surrounding Indonesia's Ministry of Finance has bewildered the Indonesian public. As the situation remains unclear, the Indonesian House of Representatives are set to form a special committee to investigate this massive amount of suspicious transactions, which is potentially linked to money laundering, allegedly involving finance ministry officials and companies and individuals tied to the ministry. Nanti setelah tanggal 29 Maret, setelah semuanya final, maka nanti ada usul untuk uh, buat pansus agar lebih spesifik sebenarnya. Kita nggak mau ada kegaduhan dibuat. Apakah ada unsur udang di balik bawan atau memang ada kaitannya tentang kegaduhan ini untuk menonjolkan seseorang atau bisa menjatuhkan seseorang? Kan kita akhirnya uh, banyak informasi yang ujungnya cuma fitnah. Nanti fitnah ke sana, fitnah ke sini, tapi penyelesaiannya harus disajikan kepada publik. Meanwhile, the deputy head of the House's Commission 3 from the Gerinda Party faction, Desmond Mahesa, said that the recommendations made by the committee will be forwarded to law enforcement and the president so that concrete legal action can be taken. Inilah yang nanti akan kita bahas. Makanya saya bilang tadi, ya, kalau hal-hal yang hari ini ada tujuan aneh-aneh itu, solusinya kan pansus. Karena rekomendasi pansus itu jadi langkah hukum, kan? Langkah hukum kepada penegak hukum, langkah hukum juga kepada presiden untuk melakukan tindakan-tindakan yang lebih konkret. Apa tindakan lebih konkret? Tentunya Pak, rekomendasi pansus bisa minta apa meminta Menteri Keuangan diberhentikan kepada presiden. At a recent hearing with the House of Representatives, the Indonesian Financial Transactions Report and Analysis Center, or the PPATK, confirmed that 349 trillion rupiah of suspicious transactions surrounding the Ministry of Finance are linked to money laundering. From 2009 to 2023, the PPATK have filed 333 reports to the Indonesian Finance Ministry regarding those suspicious transactions. Action has been taken on 59% of those reports, while the rest are still in process.